Good day and welcome to my garage. This is approximately a 0.5 half a millimetre cut. <laughs> Half a millimetre, that's about 20 thousand. Let's see, let's, let's see where we're at now. I've got to go down to 10 on, on this side, I'm on the opposite side now. Well, this thing's very hot. 11.5. Feed rate's probably too high, but that's all right. Ten point five. I've got no graduations to work with, so it's just by feel. Point three. But this this end has, has to have this sleeve. Fitted. It's got to go into this sleeve. Okay, not yet. Just a touch more. Okay, that's the size. Lovely fit. Beautiful. Beautiful fit.
there we go that's the um, the handle or uh, screw shaft that the handle will attach to um, this end will go through the screw support and this end is the coupling and then the, the, uh, the threaded rod gets coupled there so it was made to plans well it was uh, pretty much within ballpark that's for sure all done on the, on the gingery mini mill come laid Even, even well, well laid plans stuff up. I, um, as you know, I just, I just turned up the shaft for the handle, which drives the the uh, the screw. So I, I'm two dimension. There's not a problem, except with the drawing. When I did the drawing, excuse me, when I did the drawing last night, I measured up the thickness of the length of shaft required for the thickness of the, the handle. Then a, a washer, and then a shoulder for that washer, washer, shoulder, and then a bit of a 10mm extension for the coupling. Beautiful. When I finished it, I thought, hang on, <laughs> there's something wrong here. I need about 30, 35 millimetres for the handle, and I've only got 15. Well, now I've got 15. A little while ago, I only had about um, uh, 12. And um, scratching my head. And I'm looking at the problem right now. And I was looking at the problem then. Couldn't understand it. Made all the, took all the measurements. Yep, it was made correctly. And then it dawned on me. I didn't add the thickness of the screw support, which in this case is about 30 millimeters. No, about 26 millimeters. Ah, uh, do I make another? I want to make another shaft. Um, the milling machine works as a pseudo lathe. Lathe, I won't say a lathe, a pseudo lathe. It's not as good as a lathe. But I haven't got a lathe at the present moment. So I have to use the, um, the mill. So what, I've, what I did to overcome the problem rather than make another piece another shaft is I reduced the thickness of this shoulder that's two and a half mil now two two and a half mil reduced the plan thickness of the washer instead of three mil of um, uh, using two mil so I've gained about three three and a half mil that's now giving me I think I've got 15 14 mil I've now got 14 mil. Now, I could lose some of this hub. I don't need all of that hub. If I take 5 mil, 6 mil off the hub, and the hub is yeah, 12 mil, yeah, 12, maybe 13, 12 and a half. If I take 5 or 6 off that, plus the 14 that I've got, I get 19, 20 mil. Now that's enough, easily enough to um, put a set screw through the hub, through the this hub part of the wheel, uh, and still catch the shaft. What it does uh, uh, force me to do in some respects, so that would work, the, the shaft would not come to the end, to the face of the, 
the uh, lower face of the wheel, but it would still work. But what that leaves me then with is the possibility of a way of being looking at what can I do with these handles, the way they're secured uh, doesn't stop the handle from sliding along the shaft a little bit which increases your backlash, something terrible because all the backlash is is in the movement of that handle shaft, screw shaft so it's the set screw uh, stops the handle from turning on the on the shaft because I fire I fire a flat but it doesn't stop the um, the handle from sliding along the shaft so I find over time it's not too bad uh, lately I find over time that I've got to loose, loosen it off and take up the slack so what am I getting to? Well, if I drill and tap a hole in the end, end of there, then the handle will go on. I can then make a cap with a hole and bolt that and then adjust the length of that cap until I get the set one or two thou clearance for this shaft that'll make it fixed and then it won't move along the shaft now I've been thinking about doing something like this and this this has now forced me to uh, think more about it but anyhow I can recover from this mistake um, most of the, the shaft was too long a good good portion of the shaft was going to be too long anyhow but um, I can recover and I'm not making another shaft. I have a habit of um, doing this, not, not wanting to make another whatever, whether it be a casting or a, a mistake. I have done I have done some mistakes. Believe me, I've done some mistakes. Done some mistakes. But where I can recover without wasting time and material I'll just readjust my plans. These I couldn't readjust the plans. I was stuck with having to replace those. Alright, catch you later. I've just tried something different. <clears throat> I've done how many wheels now? One, two, three, four. I've done four of these hand wheels so far, uh, which means a coupling for each. Four of these, two holes each, eight holes. Um, I managed to break one one drill bit because they're only. Uh, two millimetre, just over two millimetres. I can't remember the imperial size here. Um, anyhow, I broke, I broke one drill bit, but I was lucky I didn't break more because what was happening was uh, as you drill through the outer sleeve and hit the thread, the whole thing jumps, all the the thread jumps around and you, you haven't got a hold of it. So I thought I would actually thread it on here. Now I've got the nice hole through there and then just uh, cut, the, cut the thread off so that I'll, I can put it back in 
with um, with the other one. So okay, I'm going to lose about 15 millimeters, no, 20 millimeters of thread off that bar that I already cut. Um, that's a shame. <laughs> I'll survive. So, yeah, there we go. And it worked really well, really well. That, was, that sleeve was nice and tight on the oil thread. No movement whatsoever. It was just a dream to drill. Should have thought of that a long time ago. Anyhow. I don't remember which one's which. Because they will be slightly off centre. Anyhow, I'll sort it out. Main thing is cut the excess thread off. Well, that was the wrong washer. Oh, I've got to clean up this bench. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now to file a flat. Right, that's. That's nearly finished. Put a flat on there. I have to use a handle off, I will probably the universal compound because the handle for this is still in the lathe. I was machining it at the time when the lathe went bang or clunk. So, yes, that's it for the moment. See what's happened. The uh, pulley has come loose on the shaft. Well, the small pulley on the counter counter shaft had come loose, so I've tightened that up, and let's get back into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
machining it uh, this way makes the tail stand travel on the same plane as the uh, spindle head travel. Well that's the first cut. I can just take a nice light cut over that because that was a fairly heavy cut. When I say heavy, heavy because there's uh, a lot of tool sticking out, an awful lot of tool sticking out. Okay, I will set up to do a light cut, hopefully, because it's. Um, I have to loosen off the clamp on the other side, loosen off the um, this the sort of centre gib screw. There's no gib, but it acts, it's like a gib screw. Then advance it with the car uh, with the uh, saddle, and then lock everything back up again. Uh, it's not. It's a little bit awkward in that when I push it with when I push this with the saddle, this thing will kick a little bit. So uh, yeah, but it's um, it's easy enough to do. Okay, let me uh, reset the job. Okay been reset, let's finish it off. It's rougher in this corner, and I think what's happening is when the back end, back stroke of the cutter comes around, it's hitting this corner at the top, and then causing a vibration in the tool. So when it comes back on again down here, it's vibrating through that corner. And how I will reverse it up, and that just may clean it off a little bit. I'll see how that goes. Well, there it is. It's been uh, machined, laying down in all its glory. The machine surface is rough. Well, yes and no. Sorry. It it is rough. There, that was that was where the tool came around, and on the back stroke, and then there, while well, it was still vibrating. This is what I suspect. But before it got to these stages. This was the uh, surface finish. Not too bad. I, I, you can see where I stop for any length length of time. But yeah, it, is it a good machine surface? Mm, no. Can I recover this? Yeah, with a little bit of filing. 
it'll it'll come up good. And I've so that will mount on on there. So I've got to make sure. No, I've already flattened this. My lathe causes some crowning when I uh, machine across the job. That's because I don't have a uh, c uh, carriage stop, carriage lock, I should say. Uh, so I've, I've already blued and hand scraped that flat. I'll have to do something similar with this. Because there, yeah, there is a little bit in there. After I clean the surface up, this is the um, the plate that maintains this in the uh, in the correct position, stops it from rattling around. Also, all right, a bit of clean up on that, and then, well. I won't finish it until the handle's finished and the handle won't be finished until I fix the lathe and the lathe won't be fixed until I remount sorry until I remount this and make a cutting bar which I've got somewhere I've lost, lost it now I don't know what I've done with it. Anyhow, I have to make a um, uh, a tool holder that'll come out of the collet across. I've got a turn it down to a 15, uh, 5 8 uh, shaft for here. I didn't put any, I might put an oiler in, in here also, or just a hole to feed some oil. Yeah. All right. I will continue on. It's not finished. <clears throat> Just got to make sure this bottom resting place plate is square. And now for the final part. And there we have the assembled and finished, except for the hand wheel, uh, tail stand. I'm going to be here for a while, quite a while, squaring this uh, quarter inch hole out. I don't know if you can see, but I've, I've got the outline uh, around, around the hole. I have gold paint or gold pen. That's not because I like it to be gold, but I, it could have been white.